basically you can think of plants as a sort of bridge that connects atmospheric CO2 with soil carbon. So, uh, so really when we're talking about land sequestration, we're talking about the two components. Uh, so the plant biomass, the above ground biomass, that's a vast storage of carbon. And that storage of carbon is about equal to the amount of carbon that's in the form of CO2 in the atmosphere. So it's about 800 uh, billion tons of uh, uh, carbon in the form of CO2. That's stored in the atmosphere and uh, that's also stored in land plants in their biomass. And now about double that much is stored in the soil on land globally. So the soil plus the land in terms of carbon stocks contain a combined a factor of three higher than the atmospheric CO2 level. When soils are managed carefully, when organic matter is returned to the soils, uh, when runoff is prevented and erosion is prevented, soils can be managed to dramatically increase the amount of carbon they contain. Recent estimates are that we could be sequestering in soils worldwide something on the order of one to two billion tons per year of carbon with the best possible management techniques. That is a significant fraction of the approximately 10 billion tons that we're releasing to the atmosphere.